Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about De Moivre's theorem. So I will share my computer screen with you. So, De Moivre's theorem states that, so I'll write the De Moivre's theorem for you. Just give me a minute, okay. Oh. Solution, De Moivre's theorem. is z to the power of n. So let's assume z. No, not over here. z is equal to r cosine theta plus i sine theta. Okay. And this is the Z is a complex number in polar form. Complex number in polar form. In polar form. form. So De Moivre's theorem states that. So De Moivre's theorem applied to Z. It's that Z Z to the power of N is equal to R to the power of N. Cosine N theta plus I sine N theta. So, therefore, for our uh, applied, apply the Moivre's theorem, Moivre's theorem to our problem. Problem. We get, uh, <coughs> we get, uh, z to the power of n or z to the power of 12 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 multiplied by should be this way right cosine of 12 times pi by 3 plus sine 12 sorry i sine 12 Pi over three. So let me create some space for myself. Okay. So now I can write. z to the power of 12 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 cosine 12 pi by 3 3 goes into 12 4 times cosine of 4 pi plus i sine of 4 pi okay
So this is equal, now we know cosine of 4 pi is equal to cosine of 0 is equal to 1, cosine of 0 degree. And similarly, sine of 4 pi is equal to sine of 0 degree, which is 0. Hence, z to the power of 12 is 2 to the power of 12 multiplied by 1 plus 0 i times 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 12. So that's your final answer. I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can always write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also, please let your friends know about this video. So yourself and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Take care. Have a nice day. I will see you next time. Okay. See you. Bye. I'll come back with another problem.